Yeah, so on this problem, uh, we're going to just plug in the spherical coordinates. Yeah, and that's the beauty. So this is a what you might call a spherical graph parameterization because we have uh, this is a spherical graph. This this thing that we're, this uh, surface in question, it's we got rho as a function of phi and theta. So yeah, so x, y, and z are the usual. So we have rho uh, sine phi cosine theta, rho sine phi sine theta, uh, rho cosine phi, and I know what rho is. Rho is, let's see, sine theta cosine three phi. Ooh, I didn't leave myself a lot of room here. Sine theta cosine three phi. That's rho. So I have rho sine phi cosine theta. Then rho sine phi sine theta. And then rho uh, cosine phi. Uh, there you go. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Multiply it out. Yeah, collect terms. Sure. Yeah. Yep. I, I, yeah. I mean, any, anything that simplifies very without too much effort, I think it just kind of looks good. You might as well. I mean, do keep in mind that. I mean, um, it's it's again, it's the spike in the football on the one yard line kind of deal. It's anyway, go ahead and walk it on in. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Let me stop this.